Shot Wall, let's give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, the double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us this word. Which we want to talk about faith and believing, you know, in the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, you know, and how you know, the scriptures say it's, it's impossible to please the Most High without faith. It is important, it's very important that you believe in the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Shai, and, and, and this word, and these prophecies. You, know, you can't lose faith, you can't lose that belief. You have to have that belief that the angels are around us. You have to believe that Yahweh Shai is coming back to deliver His elect and what the world calls UFOs. You, know, you have to believe that you know, a kingdom is going to be set up on the planet Earth with Yahweh Shai ruling and with His elect, you know, with his elect as joint heirs, you know, you have to believe that Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you know, are the true Israelites. You know, that came out of that came out of Egypt, you know. And all we have is is, is this book, you know, the, these scriptures. You know, and it's, and it's all about that belief. Um, because you got a lot of our people that are that are atheists and agnostic and all that, you know, but, um, because they lost, they lost hope, man, so they just gave up on the most high, they gave up, you know, they had that zeal, but not according to knowledge, you know, they weren't taught the truth of this, of this word, and most I just, or really, most I just blinded them, but, you know, you come to this truth, you know, you gotta have that belief all the way into the very end, you know, Whatever may happen to you, whatever trials, tribulations that you may possibly go through, you know, you got to have that belief, you know, and he'll give you that crown of life, you know, have that faith unto death, and the Lord will give you that crown of life. The first scriptures are John 3 and 36, he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of the Most High abideth on him. Yeah, the scriptures say, uh, don't inquire about how the, uh, the ungodly shall be punished. You know, don't worry about all these atheists, these agnostics, you know, these non believers, man. Because the Most High's wrath is going to abide on him. Um, actually, I'm bring that out in 2nd Ezra. This is 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 9 and 13. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Yeah, I mean, you gotta have that faith and that belief that this world was created for the Israelites, for the Negro, Latino, Native American. Because right now we're at the bottom of the barrel in society, we get no respect. You know, you gotta have that strong belief that, yeah, man, this world is for us, you know. So don't worry about the ungodly, you know, the, the, the non-believers, you know. Next scripture is John 20 and 29. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Yeah, it's a blessed thing. It's very, it's a blessing, you know, to really have that spirit of faith and belief. You know, we never seen the Lord. You know, we never seen an angel. And the scriptures say that the angels, that we entertain angels unawares. So, you know, the angels will come down in the form of human, you know, they walk around like human beings. And, you know, we, we've interacted with angels at certain point in times in our lives. You know, and we didn't know it. But the scriptures say, you know, some have entertained angels unawares. And you have to believe that, even though we've never seen an angel, you have to believe that the angels are there, that the angels, you know, camp about those that fear the Lord, you know. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen and have yet believed. You know, it's a powerful thing, you know, we haven't seen the old Lord, you know. But through these scriptures, you know, we know what he looks like. We know, we know what he's like, you know.
that stretches out Matthew 18 and 20. For there are two or three gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Yeah, you, when you're out there teaching, you know, two or three, and that's all it takes, and you know, the Lord is with you. You know, you got that hedge around, you got to believe that there's that hedge, you know, you can't have that spirit of fear when you're out there, when you're out and about in the world, or you're out there teaching on the streets, you got to believe that, you know, that hedge is, is around you, you know, the angels are out there with you, you know. If a situation does come up, you know, the Lord will provide a way for you to escape, you know, the Lord got you. It's just a test at the end of the day. The last scripture is, uh, it's seven. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Yeah, it says, uh, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. Yeah, so you, you, gotta, you don't have to worry when you're out about your everyday life, you know, you got, you got the angels right there. But the angels, the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun, and the angels are everywhere, you know. And the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them, you know. The angels going to deliver you out of certain situations, man. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. And you got trust, you know, it's all about trust. You know, we haven't seen the Lord, you know. But you gotta put that trust. You know, that's what the most high wants. You know, it's that faith. It's impossible to please the most high without that faith, man. I'm just saying this because we're coming into some times when you're gonna have to have that strong faith. You know. But uh yeah, I just wanted to talk about, you know, that belief. You got to believe. Don't worry about the non-believers. You know, we put that, you know, shut them off.